Good afternoon. In case you are new, my name is Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing, we will be studying SCP-6696. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's begin. Item number, SCP-6696. Classification level 2, Containment Class, Euclid. Disruption Class, Vlam. Risk Class, Warning. Special Containment Procedures. The area surrounding SCP-6696 is to be quarantined, and the media is to be informed the area is condemned due to asbestos and mold contamination. Instances of SCP-6696-A are to be lured into reinforced steel cages and transported to Site-576, then transferred into standard hostile humanoid containment cells located on site. Human teeth are to be utilized as bait, and containment specialists are instructed to wear protective headgear that covers the face while in the vicinity of SCP-6696-A instances. Description SCP-6696 is the designation assigned to a dental clinic located in Salesburg, Wyoming. On April 2, 2002, the building was affected by a sudden ontokinetic fluctuation that permanently altered the location, as well as the individuals who were occupying the building at the time. The event resulted in the transformation of 24 civilians into instances of SCP-6696-A. Investigations performed by Mobile Task Force Sigma-12, codename Dr. Feelgoods, have shown the interior of SCP-6696 to be larger than the exterior would allow, and rooms within have become heavily distorted, with walls following geometry that typically make entry impossible. Other notable changes include light fixtures shining at 700 to 1300 lumens, machinery being replaced with various forms of torture equipment, and human flesh and teeth decorating the walls. Humanoid entities designated as SCP-6696-A can be found inside SCP-6696, dressed in attire typically worn by doctors and nurses. The majority of the entity's body mass has been converted into dentin, enamel, and cementum. The entities also possess bone-like protrusions where the fingers would typically be, resembling dental instruments. When an individual is in the vicinity of an SCP-6696-A instance, the entity will forcibly restrain the subject and perform an oral examination that typically leads to severe damage to the interior of the mouth and oral cavity. The entities will cease their assault once all teeth have been removed from the victim. During the initial investigation of the premises, Mobile Task Force Sigma-12, codenamed Dr. Feelgoods, discovered a deceased child with abnormally high Hume levels relative to the surrounding area. A poster depicting a personified tooth named Dr. Toothy was found inside the same room, advising children to have their wisdom teeth removed. The poster was notably unaffected by the ontokinetic fluctuations. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.